Hi guys, so um, today is another video um, which is going to be quite a bit quicker because um, on Wednesday I have my last final exam so the last videos have been kinda short and I know that and I didn't like they were videos where I didn't have um, a lot of editi editing to do um, because I just don't really ha had the time for it but um, for next week I'm going to plan again to do like um, yeah videos like I want to do a few tutorials like a summer my summer makeup look I want to do because in two weeks I start working as well I want to do like my work get ready with me or something maybe you know but um, to like yeah to invest a bit more of time in videos I know I didn't do that the last few weeks but I'm really really sorry but I just had to study so much and yeah so um, finally I already had three exams and the last one is now on Wednesday like I said and yeah I'm just like hoping that it's over because f summer has arrived it's so hot I'm like dying in my um, in my flat or yeah in my apartment and I have to stay in all day because I have to study and I need my computer and stuff so I can't really study outside so yeah it kind of sucks but um I yeah I hoard, hoarded I did hoard a bit of trash again like some people would say um, I'm going to do an empties again because I have quite some stuff um, so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead um, first is my mouthwash. This is um, the Meridor, yeah, just a mouthwash. Um, yeah, it's the one I always use. I always get this one. I don't know, it's just the one I like best. <laughs> so next thing is some... Oh. This is something you, you might have seen in my um, Disappointing Products video. It's the Nivea or Nivea Indouche Body Lotion for normal skin so this is an um, like an body conditioner so you put it on um, underneath your in the shower um, and then you rinse it off and it's like your body lotion I really did like the idea of this um, I'm going to link down below to the video so you can hear like an in-depth review um, I like the idea of it and I did like the product um, but one thing is, this is like the bigger size, there's a smaller size as well. I think in here is still so much product left, but I can't, because this is so wide here, you can't squeeze it. And even worse, when your hands are wet and you're underneath the shower. So I have the feeling that there's still quite a bit left, but I can't get it out. And then I wanted to get this one again, because it's easier for me to just use the body lotion underneath the shower um, but I was like hesitating because the, the drugstore brand um, had bought out, brought out something like this as well and they had like nicer smells and stuff and were cheaper so I thought okay I'm just gonna give it a try and I did give it a try and I actually also well I love the smell it's a vanilla smell but I also really I like I don't know I think it leaves my skin more hydrated and this was really liquidy and you needed a lot and the other one is richer and you need kind of need less because it still does like you can put it like all over your body and I don't know I just like the other one that's why this is like not such a yay product for me next thing like in every um, empties video are my Eveline and um, these are cotton pads um, yeah, I just always get these, always use them every day, as you can see. Another thing that's always in my empties as well, it's the Balea Talking Shampoo. So this is just a normal dry shampoo. They repackaged it now. And um, I think the, like, the squeezer bottle, this thing here, works better now on the new one. And yeah, so I like the new one but I did love this as well and I always do get this one um, next thing is my super playboy shower cream for her and creamy and delicious so um, this one like I didn't buy it myself I like 
I'm not that into the Playboy stuff. I don't know. I think it's a bit weird, actually. Um, I got the scent, and I really, really, really did like the scent. Actually, it came with the perfume, and the perfume, or Kolo perfume, I think you said. And, um, I really did enjoy it as well. It's a nice, summery, fresh scent. Yeah, I did like it. Next thing is my hand cream, which was in uh, one of my favorites as well. And it's the CD hand cream with Zantorn, whatever it is. And I really, really did like it. I got the scent as well, like in a monthly subscription box. I didn't know it before. But I loved it so much that here's the new one. As you can see, here there was some more in there. And I think there's like a big difference. It's, it says it's only 33%. But the size, like it's longer, like higher and wider, it, or it was. So yeah, but still, I love, I love the scent of, I love the scent of it. I love how it feels on your hands. So yeah, just love it. Next thing uh, is the Synergan um, toner, and this is for um, soft. This is a soft touch because it's for sensible skin. Yeah, it was a good product. Um, nothing special, but okay. But I just got another one, um, yeah, because this is from the, like, this is from Rossmann, another drugstore, and I usually go to another drugstore, so I now have, like, another one. Um, this is another hand cream, but this is a mini hand cream, and I usually don't put samples in here, or, like, this, yeah, this is, like, a travel size one. It's the Alverde um, hand cream in Calendula, or Calendula, however you say that. And this is, this is like a um, organic cosmetics brand, and um, I didn't like, like I liked it at first. Like okay, first the scent was a bit weird, and you had to get used to it. But then I did like it. But um, after like a month or so, when I still didn't, I still hadn't used this up, and it kind of. Like, it got tacky when you put it on and sticky and, like, it changed. And maybe it is because there are, like, no, I don't know, ingredient like, no bad ingredients in it or, like, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's why, but, yeah. I wouldn't buy, like, the full size one. Oh, and as I was talking about this little guy, here's the perfume to it. Um, yeah, I really, really did like it, so it's the... Creamy and delicious, super Playboy, super Playboy. I don't know what this is called. Oh my god, this smells so good! It's so summery and fresh smelling, and the soup like the best, like a really really good um, day time um, perfume. And yes, you can see I used every little drop of it. Next thing is the La Roche Posay, or how you ever say it, physiological cleansing milk. Um, I did use this, um, yeah, to, like, cleanse my face and stuff. I eh, wasn't a big fan of it. It, I don't know. Same thing with this. It was, like, really, really hard to get everything out of it. And, yeah, I, eh, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of this, so I wouldn't rebuy it. Next thing is the Maybelline My Gloss in 495. 495 so it looks like there's still something left now that it was like lying like this but yeah as you can see like most of it I used up and whew, I think it's the first time ever I got go I went through um, a lip gloss Ugh. next thing is the um, um, lip smacker skittles berry punch um, lip smacker lip balm yeah this was Nice, it was okay, nothing special, like the scent, um, it didn't come off in this color, like it's like really really bright purple, but it didn't come off that color, which is nice. Um, another mini sample size, it's the Hypnos Doll Eyes from Lancome, the mascara. I did like it, um, it has like, oops, this kind of brush, which is like wider here at the end. Um, I did like it. It was a bit weird at first because of the shape of the brush, um, but I got used to it and did like it. Um, but there are a lot of um, drugstore mascaras I like, and so I just I don't know. I couldn't and yeah, I couldn't invest in such a 
high-end mascara with my budget but still it was nice and it was nice to try in it so I have three candles in here and they are all from Ikea and you can see what happens to these I just okay so first of all um, you've in my last empties I've also already talked about this and um, this was like a strawberry scented one and this like a candy scented one and they smell amazing but they just don't like when you burn them they don't smell in your room so I have this issue with IKEA candles a lot of the times and then I was like okay well I'm going to invest in a bit of more like an expensive one which was this one which has like you know it was closed because these in the stores are open as well and I thought, okay, this is close, maybe it like conservated or yeah, held the scent in better. And this is a peach one, which I loved, um, but still, same problem, same issue, it didn't smell in the room like this. So, and the other problem is this, that half of it, I can, like, it doesn't burn, like, you know, even. Which I really, really, which kind of sucks, because it frustrates me so, because there's so much left in this. And, yeah. So, but, well, I don't think I'm ever going to invest in, like, uh, I don't know. I'm so not sure about candles, but, well, now it's summer I'm not, and I'm not burning candles because, I don't know. It's like, for me, it's like a winter thing. So, yeah. That was everything. It was quite a lot, I think. And yeah, I hope to see you again next week where I hope to be a bit more relaxed and have to have more time. So yeah, see you then, guys. Bye.